President Trump made his case yesterday in a primetime address. He stuck to the script, read from a prompter, explained why we need a border wall or a barrier, guess. I guess we're calling it barrier now. And when you see things like last night, it makes you think what could have been, maybe what could be uh, with his presidency. If he got off of Twitter and he stopped with the pep rally stuff where he's going off script and talking about whatever CNN personality he dislikes, instead just sticking to what actually matters and making the case. Now, I know you could say, well, he doesn't write the speeches. So what I'm really saying is, my favorite Trump is when he's saying things that aren't his own words. And I, I, in a way, I am saying that, but, but of course, no president writes their own speeches. Th there's more to it than that. Because the point is, yeah, although Trump didn't write that speech, he is still willing to say things in a scripted speech that other Republicans are not willing to say and other Republican presidents would never say and never have said. And he did it again. That The entire speech that he gave last night, he didn't write it, fine. But that's it was a good speech, and that was a speech that other Republican presidents wouldn't be willing to give. And so there's a lot of value in that. Yeah, other presidents also wouldn't spend all day on Twitter um, getting into Twitter feuds with, uh, you know, Kathy Griffin or, or whoever, but that's that's the stuff that other presidents wouldn't do for good reason. But here now we have the we we have we have good things, substantive things that Trump is willing to do, and so that's why I like it. Good example. I thought his best line in the speech is the one that a lot of people are pointing out. It's a good line. He says, "Some have suggested a barrier is immoral. Then why do wealthy politicians build walls, fences, and gates around their homes?" They don't build walls because they hate the people on the outside, but because they love the people on the inside. The only thing that's immoral is the politicians who do nothing and continue to allow more innocent people to be horribly victimized. That's a great line. Now, it's, it's obviously not the first time I've heard that line. This is a point that conservatives have been making for years, but it's good to hear it from the Oval Office, from the president. It's a good line to have out there. And it is unanswerable. It is an unanswerable point. It completely dismantles um, the argument against the wall or the barrier or whatever we're calling it. Because as he said, you, you, you can't say that there's something in principle immoral about erecting you know, some sort of barrier to keep people out when you rely on, on, that, on, on that level of security around your own home. It just doesn't make any sense. Or when you say, uh, build bridges, not walls. Okay, well, are you building a bridge into your own home? No, you build walls around your home, and your home itself consists of walls. Why is that? Well, it's the same sort of principle. The only thing that Trump didn't do in that speech that I wish he would have done, and I think would have been really effective, is if he had spent some time specifically quoting Nancy Pelosi, uh, Chuck Schumer, Obama, other high-profile Democrats on this issue of the wall and border security. Because all of them in the past have come out in favor of some kind of barrier on the southern border. They have all said that Hillary Clinton is another one. They've all said things in the past about how obviously we need to protect the border. And now they've changed their mind because Trump is the one who wants it. And he did allude to that. It's a good point. But I, I think he should have specifically quoted them. And if he had quoted Schumer and Pelosi and then you immediately cut to Schumer and Pelosi standing there about to give their rebuttal, that would have been a very effective moment.